Hey guys, in today's video, it's just a real quick update video. Uh, you can see here I'm at the raised bed. Uh, I do have some peas coming along here. Uh, these are edible. They're uh, snow peas. So they are cold climate or a cold hardy variety. Uh, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, it does get warm, so you have to plant these early. I did them in... Uh, this raised bed because I can put a little hoop on it very easily. You can see there's a little flower there. Uh, I have taken off, I'd say about a handful or two of peas off of here so far. It is a lot better than I've done in years past. Uh, I always start them too late and then they crisp up once they start flowering. You can see we have a little volunteer there. Uh, what it is, I don't know. It looks like it could be a chili or uh, I had eggplant in here last year, so it could be that too. We do have some of our squash coming up. This is the main point of our video, is showing you a little update on our squash and popcorn we planted in here. Uh, not everything germinated, so I might have to throw some seeds in here or even start some plants. These are a warm weather crop, so I didn't expect them to pop up the second I stuck them in here. Uh, they did take a little while, that's why there was no news on it for a while. You can see the bottom of the peas are already showing some heat damage. It is still spring here, but the temperatures don't know that, I guess. And you can see I did get different varieties planted next to each other because of the texture of the leaf and the color. And so it did work out a little like planned. Uh, here's something that surprised me. This is a uh, petunia. I've seen them called uh, mosaic petunias or tie-dye. Uh, this one is self-sown. I had a couple petunias in here last year. They were just regular, plain old, solid color petunias. I had a couple that were tie-dye like this that were in other beds, nowhere near this. But somehow, uh, I guess the bees did their thing and the plant liked it here. Uh, that is one sign that you do really do have uh, good healthy soil is you will get volunteers seeds just popping up and growing so finally after years of work on amending soil you can see there's another squash plant there. There's a whole little cluster of popcorn there I don't know what happened that that whole area from there to there is gone. Uh, you can see it is going to storm. That's why I came out and did a real quick video because I don't know what else I'll be able to get in today. Uh, it looks like the trailing squash from this side didn't take. Or, wait, I am lying. Give me a second. I just seen it poking through. So, like I said, not everything's going to pop out right away. These seeds do know pretty much uh, how to manage. These plants we've had are nothing new. They've been doing their thing for years. People just crossbreed and play with them to get what they want out of it. So, I mean, you can see we'll have something to harvest there. It's not going to be too bountiful. I do have to do a little bit of cleanup here. There's tons of sunflowers. Don't worry. I don't throw them away. I dig them up and transplant them. It's not very easy to transplant sunflower seeds or sunflowers. Uh, so I might do a video on that to show you the tips that I do. Uh, here's my other raised bed. You can see I got some strawberries coming out. I got to do a little bit of weeding. There's a couple blades of grass popping up. Uh, that strawberry doesn't look very good or like it made it again. I don't know. Maybe there's a bad spot there. I wasn't too religious on watering either. That's kind of my bad. I was focusing on getting the house plant tour ready. You can see down here we actually have some little red strawberries. So there again, that plant did kind of crisp up. The leaves uh, left it, but it did put out a couple more and it does still have strawberries. So they are pretty resilient. I did in-ground and raised bed planting to see which was better for me in my area. Uh, I do like to experiment and play around with plants from time to time. I mean, it keeps it exciting and yeah, you might have some loss, but you might find something that works better that you didn't initially think of. 
uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, like I said, sowing some things early, like the summer squash that need the heat, won't necessarily wake up till they come to a point where the ground is hot enough. So just keep them moist, not wet, moist. Uh, if they're wet, they will rot. And if they dry out, they will die too, so. Uh, I hope this helped and thank you for watching.